So, drugs. Drugs. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi, my name is Caleb Gustin. I'm an ER nurse. My name is Shahbaz and- I'm Tatiana. Um, match the user to the drug? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I like know nothing about drugs. <laughs> I mean, it's springtime, so sometimes I take allergy medication. Is this a test to see if I'm a good nurse? Prednisone, inflammation, can keep you up at night. I think that's a bong, but I don't know for sure. Clonazepam. Oh, okay. Okay. Lamotrigine and levitaris. Recetum. Those can be used as seizure medicines. Okay. Bupropion. Sometimes it's used to actually lower blood pressure. People actually can use it for mental health reasons. Depo testosterone. I think it's a steroid. American Spirits. Classy, the yellow box. This is for coffee or for warm beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Cyprine triantine hydrochloride. I recognize hydrochloride. It has to be kept cold. That's why it's on ice. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Folks, you want to head on out? <sighs> okay. Are you nervous? Ah. Uh, who's the first volunteer? Great. Please. Cool. So, drugs. Drugs. Yeah. Can you pronounce that for me? Bupropion. Bupropion. All right, and do you know what this is for? Um, yeah. can I okay, do you know what this is for, bro? Antidepressant. Antidepressant, okay. Is this something that you like think about every day? First thing when I wake up. Can I like smell your breath? Okay. I, don't, I don't think you're a smoker. Are there side effects that you know of? Um, yeah, death and like cancer. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Calms you out? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm gonna go with the clonazepam. For you. Do you keep it? Yeah. Ooh. I'm just gonna match this up with you. <laughs> Why do you think that I smoke cigarettes? Uh, Cause you mentioned like cancer and like, if there's one connection that's been made since the 90s, it's the connection between lung cancer and smoking cigarettes. So that is my reasoning. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hey. I don't know. <laughs> How are you? Good. What do you do? Who are you? For work, I do construction. Talk to me about your social life. Um, I don't really like doing anything. This is crazy. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> do you get like social anxiety? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bad social anxiety. How do you identify? Male. Well, I identify as a very queer, trans, beautiful individual. Would you mind also identify within queer or trans spectrum? Yes. How long have you been taking this med? Four and a half years. Bupropion is for? that, I think. Testosterone is used by trans people who choose to transition, so female to male. Thank you. A beautiful soul. <laughs> <laughs> what about your experience with drugs? Has it been mostly positive? Has it been mostly negative? It's been positive. I've been taking them for 20 years. How often do you take them? Twice a day. Twice a day. Oh. Are your joints good? Oh, Living yeah. life? So I you're study like... Zumba. Okay, you're healthier than me. Get it. Do you have like a dog? No. Okay. Why are you asking that? Seizures. Some people have like dogs to deck when a seizure's about to come on. Are you retired? Do you work? I work as a research assistant for my nephew who owns three recreational marijuana stores. Um, I think I'm gonna give you the bong. I'm gonna give you the seizure medicine. Lamotrigine and levetiracetam. I'm going to assume you need to take seizure medicine pretty frequently. Yeah. Uh, this is why I decided to become an English major instead of a doctor. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Tell me about your day. Uh, I get Typical. up at six, take my medicine. Well, I got a lot of back pain from military. Okay, only uh, in the morning or do you also take it? At night too. Okay. And sometimes during the middle of the day. For thinking pain. This might help your joints. Okay. It might keep you out of pain. I'm gonna go with this. It does like have a pain relieving aspect to it. And it also does, I think, lift mood. I don't know. I just give the drugs, I don't prescribe them. 
Are there any side effects? Yes, so as soon as uh, the medication wears off, I can feel it in parts of my body, like some joint pain will come back. This was the arthritis one, prednisone. I'm gonna give you this. Shit. <laughs> this is the real shit. It is the real shit. Um, ooh, is it like poop related? <laughs> is it like IBS land? Yeah. It is IBS land in that general area. America knows nothing about IBS, but everyone has it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, can we just get over it? People yeah. have sex and people shit. I don't get why we have to hide those two things. I don't get it either, but... You get this. This is probably a very, very costly drug. So I hope that you're doing all right. And Thank I you. will see. I think I'm doing good. I'm actually pretty proud of myself right now. Can you tell me about the time in your life when you decided you needed to be on this medication? Family member also had the condition. What happened to the family member? They died. So they didn't take this and then they died? Mm hmm Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. So, but Why do you like, think I'm bipolar? <laughs> um, if you're saying that this medication like is the reason you're here today, that's indicative of like, this was like really, some really, okay. really low okay. lows. I think you get the tobacco. I think I smelt a little bit. I still love you. Uh, next. Calling your next victim, eh? <laughs> I mean, Salim. maybe. What's your name? Salim. Salim? Tell, tell me about the first time in your life when you took us. Made me better at my job. What was your job? Well, back then I was doing fashion and fitness modeling. Oh, I'm questioning all my choices right now. Um, I have that effect on people. <laughs> okay, well, let's calm down. <laughs> Are you like pretty fit? Like, is your heart good? You know, I'm actually disabled. Oh. I Do got my intestines removed a few years ago. Oh, shoot, how much? All of them. Oh. I'm like more cyborg than human. The ileostomy is like... You knew which ostomy it was. I'm, I'm really so great, right thank now. you. <sighs> you don't know how tiring it gets. You're bupropion for sure. This stuff I hear is magic. I'm gonna give this to you. Okay, testosterone. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Hi. So I have a mental health med, two of them. This is the only thing that's left. See, I don't think it's a laxative because it needs to be stored with ice. Where are laxatives? Like to treat constipation and all of that. I am not answering that question. <laughs> Do you feel constipated? No. <laughs> well, this is the last one, so I have to give it to you. We'll let you make a switch. Can I just do the switch over now? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna switch this with you. Yeah, I'll just give you this. Thanks. Wait. Ah, whatever. Okay. So I think I did pretty well. Well, folks raise their hand if they were picked for rent. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. We're gonna go one by one again. Okay, let's do this. Your breath was so fresh. I make a lot of effort to not smell like I smoke cigarettes. Like, I don't want to put other people through that. It's my choice. People choose to smoke. It's not my, it's not my business. You know why I justify smoking. I come from a family who has, you know, drug addictions. I've seen addiction my entire life. I don't drink, I don't smoke weed, I don't do any other drugs. So it's like, I can, you know, do meth like my family, or I can smoke cigarettes, and I'll go cigarettes. Yep. <laughs> Do you like me more or less now that you know that I'm a smoker? Absolutely not. I wish you wouldn't smoke, but that's just me being a nurse. Okay, hi, yes, the win. <laughs> Testosterone. Oh, okay, yeah. That, uh, okay, uh, why? <laughs> I'm transgender. I oh. use it as re hormone replacement therapy. Okay. Can I ask you what it was like when you first decided to start taking this? It was family-wise, it was great. I worked at McDonald's and I'd worked with all my coworkers for like five years and they were all horrible about it. Really? Yeah. Totally but your family was totally Yeah, family's great. So I got a new job and then everything was fine after that. What happens when you're not 
when you fear to take I it? I go crazy. I can't control my emotions. And it's crazy when I do this shot, like the next day, I feel fine again. That's awesome. So you see, we can have trans conversations and not talk about genitals. <laughs> Thank you. The seizure medication is yours? Yes. Epilepsy? Epilepsy. Mine was caused by a bicycle accident. I landed right there. And they had to put staples in to reconstruct the skull. And it also caused memory loss. But I lost the memory of the whole year prior to the accident. You lost your memory for a whole year? Yes. Wow. Yeah. If I don't take them, I could have a seizure and just die, you know? So it's every day, twice a day for the rest of my life. Fuck. Okay? Yeah. All right. So I got you. Yeah, you picked me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you high right now? Just a little bit. Okay. What would happen if you quit smoking today? I'd be sad. No. I'd just, ah. I'd just achy. You know, it just, <laughs> yeah. it does make your day better. And yeah. know, all use is medical use, even if like, if it treats your depression or your so. uh, Has it changed you personality wise, do you think? I, I don't think so. Just the same as like when you're in pain and you become grumpy, like without coffee. You mm -hmm. know, that's just like me, I'll be irritable just because I'm in pain. I don't have a coffee addiction either. Oh, you should start. Uh, <laughs> I'll stick to hot chocolate. <laughs> you got me right. Yeah, I did. You should feel proud. Um, okay. <laughs> so I take this for Crohn's disease. You're not supposed to be on it for a very long time because it can cause calcium deficient in your hips and your back. So it's okay. it's more of like a necessary evil. Uh, people hate this drug. It is so hard to live on this drug. It's hard. But remember everyone, everyone poops. Yes, everyone does. So That's nature. I got you wrong twice. Yeah, you thought I was bipolar. Uh, yeah, well, this is cyprine. And that is to get minerals out of your body. This is to excrete copper from my body. The copper that I eat, it just yeah. accumulates. It accumulates in your joints and your brain and your eyes, and it's fatal unless treated. I was diagnosed when I was nine after my sister passed away from the disease. Wow. Like, what is heavy in copper? Chocolate is pretty much number one. No seafood or shellfish whatsoever. It's um, really high in copper. And it always has to be stored on ice? It's always refrigerated. It's expensive. For a month's supply of this without insurance uh, is 40 grand and some change. But hopefully I will live a long life and get old and gray and say whatever I want. Cheers to that. I got you wrong. What did you take? <laughs> Uh, it's clonazepam. It's for uh, social anxiety, panic attacks, oh, like. Yeah. Kids. And how many do you take a day? I don't take them every day. They kind of zombify you. Yeah. So it makes it so I have like no personality and I'm super boring. And I sleep a lot. I love sleep. Me too, but, but I don't like the zombie that, sleep. Yeah. I like normal people sleep. Yeah. What, what do you take again? Uh, Oh, the fun one. So you're definitely not constipated. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Social anxiety? Yeah, I have social anxiety, depression. Cool. Do you get any counseling with it or just the meds? Uh, yeah, I go to therapy every week. I definitely wasn't improving without the therapy. It takes a mixture of both. Which is so true. Because it's like so important. But then we forget to. <laughs> How was that? I certainly learned a lot more about drugs. Uh, I'm probably gonna go home and forget about it, but the great thing about the internet is that I can always just rewatch the video and like learn these things again. I think life is hard. <laughs> there's so many stories behind people and there's so many things that people need to help them go through life, which can be really hard. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Put the drugs back. Do I walk? Great. Ouch. Yes. <laughs>